let us consider photochemical reactions of carbonyl compounds that is Norris type 2 reactions what are Norris type 2 reactions <laughs> definition upon irradiation by UV light in the range of 230 to P30 nanometers carbonyl compounds that is aldehydes and ketones having at least one gamma hydrogen atom will undergo intramolecular gamma hydrogen abstraction by the oxygen of the carbonyl group which has undergone n to pi star transition both in singlet and triplet excited state to form a 1,4 biradical through a 6 membered cyclic transition state this is the primary state so the carbonyl compounds will form a biradical in the primary process then the 1,4 biradical undergoes beta cleavage that is the bond between the alpha carbon and the beta carbon to form an alkene and enol of ketone or the 1,4 bi radical may undergo cyclization to form a substituted four membered cyclic product that is substituted cyclobutanol. This is the secondary process. Now let us consider the example of 2 pentanone that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A compound containing 5 carbon atoms with carbonyl group at second position is called 2 pentanone. So, for convenience sake, in order to represent the reaction, we can draw the structure like this. C double bond O, CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. These are numbered like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, pentanone. Okay. This is the alpha carbon this is the beta carbon this is the gamma carbon so in the primary process when this compound is irradiated by UV light it undergoes n to pi star transition and enters singlet excited state and through intersystem crossing it enters triplet excited state in the triplet excited state, the bond between the pi bond between carbon and oxygen cleaves. This is the homolytic cleavage of the pi bond between carbon and oxygen, forming two radicals. One radical will go to oxygen, another radical will go to this carbon atom. Then The gamma hydrogen bond and the gamma carbon bond starts cleaving and a bond, a new bond between gamma hydrogen and oxygen starts forming. So this gives us a six membered cyclic transition state. Let us count from oxygen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 including hydrogen. So this is a 6 member transition state. Then the 6 member transition state, this gamma hydrogen, gamma carbon bond cleaves and hydrogen goes and gets attached here. As a result of which a new radical is formed on the gamma carbon 
so we get 1 4 by radical this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 so we get 1 4 by radical this is the primary process now let's see the secondary process secondary process either it can undergo beta cleavage or it can undergo cyclization let us see beta cleavage beta cleavage of 1 4 bi radical this is the bi radical this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 beta bond beta bond is the bond between the alpha carbon and the beta carbon this bond undergoes homolytic cleavage forming two radicals one on this alpha carbon one on this beta carbon as a result of which we get a radical on this alpha carbon there is an already one radical here so these two radicals will join together to form a bond as a result of which we get OH C double bond CH2 CH3 this is enol and this beta carbon will get a radical here so this radical and this gamma carbon radical will form a bond here so this CH2 this CH2 will have double bond this is nothing but alkene so here it is the C and this is H2 this is CH2 so CH2 double bond CH2 is an alkene now this enol will tautomerize to form ketone OH C double bond CH2 CH3 will tautomerize that means this hydrogen will shift here and form CH3 and this double bond will shift here forming C double bond O this is ketone now in the second process cyclization of the 1,4 bi radical may take place this is called Yang reaction this is the bi radical 1 2 3 4 bi radical this radical and this radical will join together to form a bond so we get a cyclic product having 1 2 3 4 carbon atoms so we can draw this like this 1 2 3 4 to the first carbon atom OH group and CH3 are attached so we have to draw OH here and CH3 here this is nothing but substituted cyclobutanol so as a result of Norrish type 2 reaction we have we are getting one ketone one alkene and substituted cyclobutanol let us see another example let us consider 2 hexanon it has 1 2 3 4 5 6 carbon atoms with a carbonyl group on the second position so it is 2 hexanon this can be represented like this C double bond O CH3 CH2, CH2, CH2 and CH3 this is 2 hexanon now what happens when it is irradiated by UV light so it is in the ground state when it is irradiated by UV light it undergoes n to pi star transitions and enters singlet excited state then from singlet excited state through intersystem crossing it enters triplet excited state in the triplet excited state the pi bond between the carbon and oxygen 
cleaves homolytically forming two radicals one radical on oxygen and one radical on the carbon as a result of which there is a radical formed on the oxygen and carbon now the gamma carbon hydrogen bond starts cleaving and a bond a new bond between hydrogen and oxygen starts forming as a result of which we get a six membered cyclic transition state after that this hydrogen and goes and attaches itself to oxygen as a result of which a new radical is formed on the gamma carbon so we get one four bi radical now the secondary process beta cleavage of the one four bi radical this is one two three four okay the bond between the alpha carbon and beta carbon is the beta bond this beta bond undergoes homolytic cleavage forming one radical on the beta carbon and one radical on the alpha carbon as a result of which we get a radical on the alpha carbon here and get a radical on the beta carbon here this radical and this radical will join together to form a new bond so we get an enol so this is c oh ch2 double bond ch3 here as a result of the new bond we get ch3 ch ch2 double bond this is an alkene now this enol can tautomerize to form a ketone it's so nothing but acetone ch3 c double bond o ch3 next cyclization or yang reaction of 14 bi radical may take place this is the 14 bi radical CH3 COH CH2 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 CH3 this is 14 bi radical in the presence of you will write this radical and this radical will join to form a new bond between first carbon atom and the fourth carbon atom so we can forming a substituted cyclobutanol this can be represented this way to the first carbon oh is attached so we will attach oh here and ch3 is attached so we write ch3 here so this is the substituted product of cyclobutanol in our next video we will learn more about Norish type 2 reactions. Thank you.